Senate to vote on Biden's social spending agenda next year. Despite Senator Joe Manchin's resistance, the Senate will vote on President Joe Biden's comprehensive social security and climate policy plan in January. On Sunday, Manchin revealed his opposition to the plan in its present shape, which was a devastating blow to it. Democratic efforts to enact legislation with an easy majority in the 50-50 Senate might be scuppered by only one senator. When asked why his objection, the senator, who from a coal-producing state, highlighted worries about inflation and the national debt. According to him, the highly mutated Omicron version of coronavirus has to be contained as it spreads throughout the nation. Even if the measure fails, Schumer wants to put every senator's view on the record so that they know what they're voting for. Until the Senate returns to Washington in January, there will be no vote on this issue. The Build Back Better Act, Vice President Biden's primary domestic objective, has suffered its worst defeat yet with Manchin's declaration. The bill's development has come to a standstill after months of wrangling inside the party about what it should contain and how much it should cost. If Democrats fail to approve the plan, their most important policy ambitions are in danger. Expanding Medicare and Medicaid, investing in child care and encouraging green energy adoption are just some of the initiatives included in the plan, which Democrats have described as revolutionary. Is there a chance that a reduced version of the Build Back Better Act will be passed by Congress? It's not apparent. Progressives in the House blasted Manchin on Sunday for his opposition to the $1.75 trillion plan, which was passed by the House in November. Certain Democrats have placed a priority on extending the expanded child tax credit, which is now set to expire at the end of the year. Efforts to reduce child poverty rely heavily on it. Even when Democrats lowered the bill's price tag by half, Manchin refused to endorse it. Among other things, the senator's opposition to a crucial climate change initiative led to the program's cancellation. Saki hinted that the White House will attempt to resurrect the measure in some capacity, 